Damn, Danielle. Back at it again with another video. Huh? Packing the mail, it's gone. She like I smell cologne. Yeah, I just signed a deal, I'm on. Hi guys, Danielle here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing something a little different. I'm honestly a little bit scared on how this is going to turn out. I'm not scared except about the hair because obviously I wear a lot of weave. But I'm just scared of the color of hair it is. Obviously you've seen the thumbnail and stuff so you know exactly what color it is. But it's red. Or so it's supposed to be red. So, um, you amazing hair company sent me this hair and I got a red or supposedly red. It looks red on camera, but in person it's definitely not red. So it's supposed to be a red bob, eight inches, and it's a T it's a T hairline. So what that means is, you guys, this is what the inside of the hair looks like. And a T air hairline only has like this much hair right here in the front. So you can't wear this. Like you can't wear this on the side of nothing. This is strictly a middle part bob. Which is great because, you know, I, um, I have no problem with middle part bobs. If you know me, bobs are my thing. Like... I love me a good bob and the fact that this is a T part is very interesting because I've never had T part before I mean it's still pretty much a closure I mean not a closure obviously it's pretty still pretty much a frontal because it has a 13 by 4 hairline itself so it goes from one end of the ear to the other but in the middle you can definitely only part this in the middle so that is interesting um I don't know much about colored hair. The only colored hair I had was that long, like, teal, like, bob. But that was the synthetic bob, and I needed it exactly for, not, not, it wasn't teal. It was, like, a lavender. I'm sorry. It was, like, a lavender bob. I mean, a lavender weave. And I used that exactly for my Halloween costume a couple years ago. A company sent me this hair, and I'm really excited to try it. She, she is going to need some plucking around the hairline because even though it's not much hairline, she's very much giving me weird vibes. She's very much looking crazy. And like I said, on camera, it looks red, but this is very much like red pink. So I did get some hair dye at the store or some semi-permanent hair dye in the color crimson. And crimson looks more red than what this is. So we are going to be watercolor dyeing her today so we can get her a little bit more red so that I can wear her. Because I don't, let me just, like I showed my cousin and she's, she's like, oh my god, I like the color. But no, I don't, look at this. I'm not feeling this color. Like, I'm not. I just... Rude. If it was a little bit more red, then we can do that. So let's just go ahead and dye this a little bit more red. And then we're going to get to plucking, styling her, and all this other stuff. I like to fight a little dirty, baby If I opened up and gave, then would you hurt me, baby? I've been feeling like an alien, a refugee, an outsider But sometime You the first one made my heart beat, made my stomach drop with desire It's no crime I'm 
See, this is the only thing y'all see this part right here that's my hairline like my hairline comes all the way out that's why i don't really too much do um frontals i look different <laughs> i look really, really different wow I look cute though, like really, really good. <laughs> okay, I think I need to um, make the inside of this brown. I'm gonna be using my Ebian Tinted Lace Spray in the color Medium Dark Brown. I need to get more of this because I'm like almost out. And you just. Since this is a tea part wig, that's probably the reason why I'm a little hesitant about the um, my sideburns. Because if it was a regular frontal, I could have definitely pulled it forward and then customized the middle part to kind of look like mine. But since this is a tea part wig, I had to figure out what a hammer do that. 
I can do it like that and pull it forward, but it's still showing a little bit. Maybe I can um, cut some of this, cut more of this off, but I know that's where my hair is. So I cut a little bit on this side. Let's cut a little bit more on this side. Just a little bit. Probably still gonna want a little bit more on this side, but let's see. This spray definitely helped because see how it was white before and now it's like flesh color. Had to cut off this little flap for my ear. Like right there where this needs to be. Or better yet, like. Y'all, my cat is looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> She's dead ass looking at me like, bitch, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to drag that down and then use my comb to, you know, y'all know how that goes. Use your comb to mush it in, blah, 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 etc., etc. My Indian Wonder Lace Bun Adhesive Spray Extra Firm Hold. I got this from my local beauty supply store and it was $6.99 and this is what it looks like. I've used this before. This is probably like my, um, this is probably like my third time using this. It's kind of, it's kind of like got to be glued, honestly, but it comes out more of a, like a, in a, a hairspray kind of format, so... It doesn't really, like, got to be glued come out differently than this do. Or this come out differently than it got to be glued. So, I'm going to just spray my whole hairline. And then, this is my little wrap right here. This is what I use to wrap my, tie down my edges. I'm going to tie the edges down. See, I already don't flat iron it, so I ain't got to do much but I'm just now waiting for my lace to dry so we can cut her on off just letting it melt into the skin the hair was sent to me by and I got the little card right here an amazing hair I think I talked about the hair before because I'm gonna be honest with you guys I have had this hair for about a week and a half now and I was just doing other stuff before I finally got to this hair, but I'm going out, so that's why I wanted to come here and do the whole hair thing. So, yeah, that's that. Um, it was sent to me by you. I don't think it's unamazing. I think it's you amazing hair. So it was sent to me by you amazing hair on Amazon, and 
it did come at a very decent it was at a very decent price so I'm gonna link it, um, obviously the information down below so I want to say this was the shortest inch they had like an uh, 8 inch I want to say and it was already pretty much cut into a bob but as you can see in the previous clip that was prayed before this I had to trim it a little bit because even though it was cut into a bob whoever cut it <laughs> you know they did okay but um if we was at a bob shop they wouldn't be cutting my hair let me just say that like they did okay with the cutting style but they I wouldn't let them touch my hair with no scissors so that's that it comes with this little car and it tells you how to wash the hair maintain the hair and all this other stuff it tells you how it was made and it also has their social media links on the back of the card nobody told me that dyeing hair or dip dyeing or whatever's called water coloring hair was going to be that freaking hard first of all I watch over a thousand videos on YouTube and the only thing that pisses me off about watching those videos is nobody tells you about the the washing part like when you washing the rinse and the dye out y'all once I dyed it red it took to the color great but then when I'm rinsing the hair out I'm rinsing the hair and I'm rinsing the hair and I'm rinsing the hair I'm rinsing the hair like why is it why is the hair not running clear like I watched a thousand videos like, I watched a thousand videos on YouTube and nobody said that it was going to be that hard to wash some freaking colored hair. I was washing hair, no lie, for almost an hour. Like, I kept rinsing it and kept rinsing it. And since my, my camera had died, because, let me tell y'all, I never dyed hair before, ever in my life. So, when I dyed the hair, my stupid self dyed, like, tried to rinse it off in the tub and try to show you guys how to rinse it off. Like, how I did when I was washing my hair. Epic fail. Red hair dye was going everywhere. Like, I seriously had to scrub my tub because my tub was white. And I was like, I should have just um, rinsed it out in the kitchen sink. So I moved it from the bathroom to the kitchen sink. And I even got a clip because I had to record that on my phone because my camera had died. So I'm like rinsing and I'm rinsing and I'm rinsing and I'm rinsing. And I'm like, why am I still rinsing out this hair? Like, it should not take that long. My nails were, my nails were like baby pink when I first started but I took off the gloves because the dare the dye was seeking through the gloves like that's how long I was rinsing that freaking hair like my nails had turned dark pink not these nails but my old nails had turned dark pink it was just a lot of going on why am I still rinsing out this hair it has been an hour and I moved from the bathroom to the kitchen and I'm still rinsing out this freaking hair oh my god like <laughs> my nails turned pink like, they was a light shade of pink. They was a blush pink, and now they're pink because of this hair. Still rinsing out this freaking hair. And I was like, see, I, all the videos I seen on YouTube, nobody ever said, oh, it's going to take, like, a good amount of time to rinse the hair. So, I'm mad about that. Nobody told me that. I watched everybody video from Aaliyah J down to some people that just started or some people that you don't even know. And nobody mentioned how long it was going to take to rinse out the hair. Nobody. I, I shampoo, rinse, repeat, condition, shampoo, rinse, repeat, and nothing. It, it was still running red. So, I'm mad about that. It literally took an hour for me to do it. Like... I'm in here Googling, like, you know, different ways. My, I had my boyfriend in here Googling different ways to get the hair clean, and I finally got it clean. about to um take my powder this is the powder i use for my cap just some true who is this cover girl i'm just gonna put that on the, the lace so we can blend that in there then we're gonna do some baby hairs this is what it looks like like I said, I was going to pluck the side some more, but honestly, you're not really going to be able to see it unless I just do like a behind the ear or something, which is probably not going to happen. This is it. And 
And now I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like with my makeup and stuff on, so yeah. Okay, so this is how it looks all together with my makeup done. And I guess I ended up dead cutting some baby hairs, just some little baby hairs right here here because I wanted this little part to like pump up a little bit because it was like too flat for my liking. So I sprayed it some got to be glued right here and then cut some baby hairs. So that's what I did. But I like the hair and this is the next day. So I want to just say that this is the next day. So I did go to sleep on this hair and I just flat ironed it just now. So it didn't nap up and it still just came out really flawless being the next day that I went to sleep on this hair. And all I did was just wrap up my edges and I put a bunnet on. Like I didn't do nothing really special to it. I just wrapped up my edges, put a bunnet on and went to sleep. And I sleep really well. So when I woke up it was just, it wasn't too crazy but... It wasn't like nappy, it wasn't matting up or nothing and you can see that it's like flowing right back into place. So it is really really good hair. Like I got so many compliments already because people really never seen me with like red hair before. Like honestly this is the first time I ever wore red hair. So I got so many compliments on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, going out in public. People like it. Like just so many compliments on it. People say it really like compliments my skin and I can really just pull it off. So I like it. I will be wearing it for a couple more days. Like even my mom asked for it. My mom was like when you're done with that wig can I have it? So she likes it. But yeah it's really great hair. I give it a 10 out of 10. And I will be ordering some hair from them. Like, because they have so many different styles and selections of hair. Not just this one color. They had multiple colors, multiple styles. And, yeah. So, that is it for this little hair review. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And then I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.